Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com and today we're going to talk about organic versus non-organic and what about the food that is organic but doesn't say it's organic. This is quite a topic and we need to be aware of this because the more pesticides, the more sprays that are put on the foods that are grown, the more harmful it is to our body. And now that we've been experiencing this since the late 1990s, we're seeing more and more generational health issues. Children are being born sick. Children are being born with quote rare issues. Wasn't didn't happen before, you know, if you've gone back to your grandparents, but it's happening today and that is being attributed to what is being sprayed on the crops, what is being put in the seeds and how they've been altered. I teach three principles in our Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study and in our courses. So go and check those out. Three principles, they're timeless and they totally apply to today. So we're gonna go inside Tom Leonard's and we're gonna look at the organic options and the non-marked organic options. And sometimes you just need to know your produce person to know which is which. So I wanna take you inside, show you. We're gonna to talk to Andy about this and I want to help you make the best choices possible. Remember, I teach God's recipe for excellent health. Three ingredients helping you be confident in the kitchen, confident with your health, and most importantly, confident in understanding how much God loves you. Now let's go in the store and check this out. Here we have some celery. And as you remember, if you get my produce shopping card, it's going to tell you celery needs to be bought organic. So here we have organic celery. We have organic carrots and yes the sign says organic so we know that but if it doesn't say organic then we want to talk to the farmer you can do this by going to a farmer's market or shopping at a store similar to what i'm doing here now kale is another food that is highly sprayed so if it's local and if they say organic or organically grown then that would be a good option now strawberries is another produce that's on the don't buy unless organic list and so you can get strawberries. These are not local, but they are organic. So they would be a better option. Here we have the organic mini cucumbers. So these are labeled as organic. They are certified organic. Once again, the certification is very expensive for the farmers. It can cost $10,000 just to get started a certification. It takes several years, or they could just grow organically without the certification. When it comes to shopping the produce section, when it comes to shopping a, a home-based store, which is what Tom Leonard's is, comparative to the big box chain stores. So I do shop those, but I really prefer local. There is a big difference. So if a farmer is doing organic practices, but yet hasn't paid the huge investment up to $10,000 to be quote certified organic, they can still have good produce. And the only way sometimes you're gonna know the difference is if you talk to the produce manager. Well, in this store, his name is Andy. And if you say, Andy, I wanna know what to buy, what's, what's being grown organically versus what is labeled organic, he will tell you. So I just got the hot list today and I'm gonna show you what is being grown organically because he talks to the farmers. He talks to them and asks, hey, how are you growing your produce? And they tell him. And they, they tell them, hey, this we're growing very well. We're growing it organically. And so that way we know the answer. So I'm gonna show you the produce that he gave me on the hot list. And this first one I'm super excited about because squash is on the hit list for only buying organic yet you wouldn't know it because the sign says local yet when we talk to the farmer who's growing this he said yes he is growing this organically he's just not certified so this would be an excellent choice to buy for your family and feel safe about it now here we have two more we've got candy onions and bunched beets notice the sign just says local but the farmers are telling us actually these beets still have dirt on them <laughs> you can tell they just came out of the ground recently. So these two options, candy onions and bunch beets are grown organically. And here's some more. It's the kale and collards coming out of Cumberland, Virginia. So if you live within a driving distance to Tom Leonard's, I highly recommend you come and stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to give you an extra reason to come and visit this store. 
So again, kale and collards, they're very much on the high list of don't buy unless they're organic, but here they're being grown organically. Now here you can notice the signs. We've got organic celery hearts, organic bunched carrots, and then we have local lisonado kale. Well, the lisonado kale, I might be saying this wrong, lisonado kale is actually also being grown organically. It's just not certified, so they can't label it as such. But when you talk to the produce man, you get to learn these inside secrets, and also the price is really good. Now, heirloom is another word to look for when you're looking for good quality produce. Yet these heirloom tomatoes are also labeled as organic. And yep, they look like heirloom tomatoes. Nice, colorful, delicious, and also just maybe they're in odd shapes or odd colors that you're not used to. That doesn't mean they're, they're less value. It actually means they might be more nutritious. So here at Tom Leonard's, we've got two different options for pickling cukes. And this is one, and notice all it says is local pickling cucumbers. But on the list that the, the produce manager gave me, these are being grown organically. They're just not certified. So there you have another great value. Well, here we have this sign, just arrived organic. So Tom Leonard's is really trying to add a lot more organic varieties. Over here in this section, they actually are labeled organic. So we've got some organic rainbow carrots, here we have the pickling cukes that are actually labeled organic. You can see them right there. And we have the organic girl spinach and different lettuces. So there's good options. So whether you're choosing to buy certified organic or just farmer proven organic, they're both gonna be good options and you will always get the benefit. Well, there you have it. So we can buy certified organic or we can buy from farmers that are growing it right. And that's originally how farms were done, grown correctly with no chemicals. And even though it's organic, it doesn't mean you have no chemicals, you just have a lesser amount or certain varieties. They still have fertilizers, they still may have enhancements to their soil, but to be organic, they just have a lesser amount and they're not, they won't do any GMO or any glyphosate sprays. And that's beneficial for us. And that's just good calmness to my brain, knowing that I'm feeding my family safe foods. It's not just about your health today and tomorrow. I'm talking about generational health. It, I'm, I don't have any more generations to produce, but I want my children to feed their children well, so for my grandchildren to eat well. So that generation that comes next will be as healthy as possible. So think more in terms of generational health rather than does it taste good to you today and teach your family well teach them the difference between certified organic and talking to a farmer who says yes i do everything as i would if i was certified i'm just not certified then i say yes thank you let me take some of your produce home today i hope this has been very helpful to you look for your organic look for the produce manager in your store and say, hey, what do you have that would be considered organic that's not labeled organic? Because in the store, they cannot label it organic because of, quote, government guidelines unless it's certified. But they can point you in the direction of what is considered organic, but may not be labeled as such. And then you, it's like me, and I'm like, oh, a treasure chest. I love a treasure chest. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And hey, why not wear the shirt that I'm wearing today where it says, turn up the praise based on Daniel 2.20. You can check out that shirt down below in the links. Until next time, remember, God gave us the good. And good means excellent of its kind. And it's because he is a God who loves you. And he always has and he always will. Thanks for watching.